Hey y'all, I'm back and I've got a story to tell. <laughs> so my son got here to pick me up and um, he and his wife had this little dog with them. Um, and apparently they were driving down the road and this little dog followed their car to my house and I don't know if she was dumped I think she probably belongs to these people that have um a ton of dogs that they don't treat very well and um, anyway so I had this little dog with him scared to death covered in feces just like looked like it was malnourished it was just awful and um, So we spent, I don't know, 45 minutes maybe, trying to get this dog to come in the house so that I could clean it up. Um, we gave it food and water, obviously, first. And then we were trying to get it to come in the house so it could be cleaned up. And so finally we gave up because it just wasn't having it. It was scared to death. And um, so we're like, okay, well, we'll just leave it. We'll go to Dallas. And when we and my other son, my teenager, was going to be here. And so, you know, he could, like, keep an eye. And um, when we got back, if the dog was still here, we would figure out how to get it inside and get it cleaned up. Well, in the meantime, we start off down the road, and the dog starts chasing the car. And we're like, my daughter-in-law starts bawling. And so then we're like, oh, crap. So my son said, okay, we can't do this. And he turns around and he comes back to my house and he's like, mom, I don't know what to do. And I said, well, I said, maybe you can get your brother to go with you to Dallas and I can stay here and take care of the dog. He said, you wouldn't mind. I said, no, it's fine. So, but then I'm like, but I don't know if your brother's going to want to go because like he's a butt, he's a teenager. And, um, so my son's like, I'll just suck it up and go by myself. He's like, I didn't want to, but this is more important. And I'm like, okay. So <clears throat> he and his wife leave, and I've got this dog. <laughs> and so uh, finally I just pick her up and bring her in the house. And my son, my teenager, is um, in here, and he helps me. And we get her into the tub, and we get her cleaned up, which was a nightmare because she hated it. Um, I don't think she's ever had a bath before, um, and she was scared to death, and um, so got her cleaned up. Well, then she was afraid to leave the bathroom, so we coax her out of the bathroom, get her down the hall, and I'm like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. So I let... Our big dog, the the oldest, the big one, the one that's, you know, kind of in charge in the house. I let him out because he's also the gentlest dog on the planet. And um, they take to each other right away. Like right away. No questions asked. And so he's such a, well, he's. He's an emotional support animal in the first place, and he knows it. Not like, you know, just one of those pets that everybody says, well, that's my emotional support pet because, you know, it's my baby, and, and I have an emotional tie to it, and it makes me feel better to have it around, which is a very real thing. 
but he's actually one of those dogs that it's like, I think he was born to be an emotional support animal, you know? And um, anyway, so he took to her right away. And she took to him. So within just a few minutes, they were comfortable with each other. And I was like, okay, well, now I'm going to let the other two in because I can't leave them outside. It's too freaking hot. And we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it goes, right? Well, I let them in. I'm not real crazy about this green. i got to be honest with you. This doesn't make me extremely happy. Anyway, <clears throat> so I let them in. And um, and within a couple of minutes, everybody was friends, and everything was great, and four by nine. So. Now I've got this dog in my house. <laughs> yeah. And so, but I was looking on Facebook and someone had reported that they had seen four large puppies up by this gas station. And one of them had already been hit by a car. So I was telling my son about it, and he's like, Mom, you got to call animal control. And I'm like, okay. And so I called animal control, and that guy's like, I'll have somebody go check on them. And he said, do you want us to come and get the puppy from your house? And I'm like, no. I mean, because she's settling in, and it's like, I don't know who she belongs to. Really uh, don't want to return to whoever she belongs to because they obviously were mistreating her. But, um, I mean, not that I'm going to keep her from her owners because, you know, that would be wrong. But, um, but you know, the way they're treating her, it's kind of wrong, too. So, um, I'm like, no, just leave her here. And, you know, if we figure out who she belongs to, then we'll go from there. But, um, so, yeah, now she's here. I told my son on the phone, I said, you realize... You're going to leave her here so long, I'm not going to be able to let her go, right? He's like, Mom, I told you from the beginning I couldn't really take her to my house unless I absolutely had to because he's got all these cats. And a friend of his is moving in, and his friend's already got two dogs. And so, you know, and I'm like, so he's planning to take her to the vet on Monday, which is good. And um, we're going to have her scanned for a microchip. Now, that's provided that I don't hear from somebody in the meantime saying, hey, that's my dog, you know. But on the other hand, I was looking on Facebook and didn't see any posts about anybody's missing dogs. And um, uh, and the animal control guy didn't say anything about anybody calling about any missing dogs and my son went down to the, so the neighbor our next door neighbor had said that he thought the dog might possibly belong to these people that lived about a block away who had way too many animals and people kept having to call animal control on them and blah 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 because the dogs were always left outside um and were not treated right and were you know and so people were always calling animal control on these people. And he said he thought that it might belong to them. So when my son left here, he drove down by that house. And he said that the gate was wide open. There was not a dog anywhere to be seen and nobody there. So don't know whether these dogs, you know, that this one and the other puppies that somebody was mentioning, they probably belong to that house, um, in which case, you know, I don't know. I don't know if they just opened the gate and let them out. Um, I don't know if they left the gate open by accident. I don't know if they moved away and left them. I mean, I don't know. Um, but at any rate, I will take care of her until we figure out something else. And so, so we were talking about what we could, because I had said, I'm going to call her Sissy. 
and my teenage son, who is a pain in the butt, said, I don't like that. I'm going to call her Sweetie. She already responds to Sweetie. I'm like, whatever. And so then my son, the one that brought her here, he's like, we should call her Astrid. He said, but I don't know what we would, he said, because all of our other dogs, you know, have shortened names. So like Radar, we call Dar, and Avery, we call VV, and um, Emmy, we call M. And so um, he was like, I don't know what we'd call her if we named her Astrid. And I said, ass. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Mom. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm like, well. You know, what are you going to do? And so he's like, um, he said, his wife said Freya. And he's like, then we could call her Freya, uh, Frey Frey. And I was like, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Just whatever. <sighs> if I name her, that's a whole other issue. <laughs> so. If I name her, she's here forever. <laughs> and I said, because all of our dogs are black and white, except Emmy has just a little bit of brown in her as well, um, but is primarily black and white. And so, of course, this one is black and white with a brown face because it's a beagle. And I was like, it had to be a black and white dog, didn't it? It just had to be. <laughs> I, I hope I don't have a dog. <laughs> Just I really hope I don't have a dog. Because I don't need four dogs. Four dogs is a lot of dogs. And I sent my husband a picture because he's, you know, he's still at work and he's like, she's cute. And I'm like, yes. Yes, she is. Now I completely just forgot what those measurements were. Okay. Well, let's do this one first. I know this one is an eighth past nine and a half. Which makes it nine and five eighths. I completely forgot what the other measurement was. Let's measure it again. See, I'm so flustered. It's like, oh crap, I'm going to wind up with a dog. So this is five and five eighths. Um, I'm probably going to go a little shorter than that. only thing that worries me my son's going to take her to the vet on monday like i said and have her scanned and all that but um what worries me is i noticed that she's swollen and i think she's either in heat or she uh oh, that measurement was not right or she's pregnant and I don't know which, because her um, her little area down there, her genital area, is swollen. And she keeps licking at it, which leaves me the impression that she is in heat, but she could also be pregnant. So... It definitely says five, five and five-eighths. It's definitely what I'm getting here, five and five-eighths. Did I just cut it wrong? Maybe I just cut it wrong. <clears throat> anyway, she was in when I when I came back here to my craft room, she was in there just settling right in, laying down, being good. Only problem I'm having with her now is I can't get her to go outside. And I suspect she's afraid that if she goes out, we won't let her back in. So, OK. 
because it took so long to get her to come in. Um, well, like I said, I wound up having to carry her in because she was so afraid to come in. I have a feeling she was never allowed in the house. And now that she's in, she's afraid if she goes out, we won't let her come back in. And so that could be a problem when she starts potting in, in my house because I don't deal well with pottying in the house. Pottying in the house is a no, 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 no. And I get freaky tiki about pottying in the house. So it's like one of the worst things that can happen. So in some ways I feel like we've kind of come full circle because one day I was out on my porch, okay, and um, I'd stepped out there. My daughter and her kids were leaving. They had been here and they were leaving. And this was, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And, um, well, it was right after we got Emmy, so it was almost two years ago. Um, so, um, I stepped out on my porch and this little bitty teeny tiny kitten came barreling across the street towards me, just crying, crying, crying at the top of its lungs and just ran right up to my feet. So, of course, I bent down and picked him up, and I was like, what the heck? And we tried to find out who owned him, couldn't find anyone, and um, placed an ad, you know, on Facebook Marketplace, or not Marketplace, uh, Facebook Rants and Raves. Nobody claimed him, and um, so we wound up keeping him here, and we named him, um, uh, Ebony, uh, no, Scrooge. We named him Scrooge. Well, um, anyway... He stayed here for several months, but um, I kind of have a problem with allergies around cats, and I was having to take Benadryl every day. So, um, my son, who he and his wife just adore cats, and they had one named Cigarette already. Um, his, he and his wife just loved Scrooge. So we wound up giving Scroogey to him, and they renamed him Ebenezer, and they call him Ebs. So I feel like we've kind of come full circle, because now he found this dog that <laughs> brought it to my house. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a whole thing. Okay, so let's look at what we've got here. All right, so we've got, if we open it this way, and we have the pocket. Where do we have the pockets? We want to put maybe a thumb hole here. Let's do that real quick. I actually don't know if I can. It may be too tight. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Good. Um, and then we've got one. We should have a pocket over here, right? Yep. Let's put a thumb hole here. Because if we don't have the thumb holes, it's too hard to find where the pockets are. Oops. Anyway. I'm going to have to go in and check on her here in a minute. Okay, and so then we've got, if you open it all the way, we've got those pockets, and then we've got this, which we I think we'll put a pocket on. We've got this pocket, we've got this pocket, and then we have the same on this side, right? So now what we need to do, oops, hold on one second.
Sorry about that. I heard a noise of some kind. Anyway, I thought it was a crash, but I didn't see anything. Um, completely forgot what we were saying. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've gotten this far. So now what we need to do next is to make the um, closure. We need a closure. Oops, it goes this way. Um, and I also kind of want to make inserts to go here so that we're not looking at the envelope, right? So I have some of this blue paper. And what I thought we'd do is we'll just make little strips to go just right inside there. Let's measure again how long this is. I've got some other things I'm going to need to do today too, so uh, we'll finish this up and then I'll move on to something else. Uh, this is like 8 and 7 eighths. Okay, so we're going to do this a little short of 8 and 7 eighths because um, it's going to have to fit inside that envelope. What's up, Immers? Hmm? You tell the people what's up? What's up with the Immers? Can you tell the people? Oh my goodness, can you tell the people what's up? Hello, Radar. Y'all need to go out there and take care of the baby. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, This is going to be a super long video, so I'm going to try and cut it down. Um, it's going to kind of probably wind up like my 10 for Tuesdays, where it was just like two or three hour videos, and I had to trim them, <clears throat> which is fine. Um, I'm actually just super excited to have the time to like do this and not be stressed over schoolwork or going to work or, you know, any of that. Like, I mean, I've got other stuff I need to do, don't get me wrong, but I don't have anything that's like, do this or disaster's going to strike type thing at the moment. I will have if I don't get it done, though, I guess. Yeah, no. I don't know, this might not work. Um... I still think it's going to, it's still going to show the, we're still going to see the envelope. So, because if I cover that, then we're going to have a whole problem with closing it, which we don't want. So, but I did manage to cover up where the thumb hole is where we see that. So I think I'll go ahead and do this one too. This one needs to be taller though. I don't know that I have anything that I can use. I don't. Um, let me get another piece. How tall did I say it needed to be? Let's go ahead and cut the one and a half inch first. Y'all go take care of the baby. The baby's not used to being in the house. She needs y'all to teach her. Okay. Um. Nine and a half. Let's 
see, I may need to trim this down just a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, just the tiniest bit. Yep, that's perfect. Hey. What we got going on now? Huh? What we got going on? Okay, I think, I don't know, should we cover this one too? And this one. And that one. And that one. Oh no, that's kind of an issue right there. I don't want it to like bend up. I think it's okay. Do I have any paper long enough? I'm just wondering if I really care that that shows. Because, like, I'm not sure I do. I kind of think I prefer, I don't know. I don't know. Can't decide. Maybe I don't know. But wouldn't this be a cute pocket right here? Let's do that. Get so I've got my corner rounder. I'm going to just round the corners and then we'll use this and we'll make some hole and then I think we'll just put it right there I think that'll be super cute the old thing so I'll try and put a picture of her in um, right here I'll, I'll 
put a picture of her in there. Um, if I can get her, I got a good face shot earlier, so maybe I can just edit that and get her where you guys can see her good. Um, and she's so stinking cute. I'm trying to decide. Maybe I'll call her Octavia, or maybe I'll name her Octavia, and then we could call her Tavy. That might be cute. Listen to me naming this dog that I have no intentions of keeping. She's got to find a home. <laughs> My son really doesn't want her to go back to wherever she came from. And I don't blame him. I mean, she was obviously mistreated. Um, but she's got to go home. <laughs> she's got to go. <laughs> because, yeah. I wonder how bad that would look with this. It's not bad, is it? I mean, it kind of matches. If we just really, really inked it up. Let's see how it would look. I mean, what the heck, right? Let's just see. Actually, I kind of want to ink this anyway. I mean, this is already pretty grungy, but... The blue isn't, so let's ink that. I might do some stenciling now that I'm thinking about it. That could be kind of cool, huh? Where is my... Guys, I'm just going to keep going, and if you don't want to watch, I, you know, I'm, I'm completely, you know, I, I completely understand that. I respect that. Um, but I just, I want to finish this project before I need to go do some stuff for the On the Case Challenge. And I need to prep my um, event for tomorrow. And I need to catch up some more stuff for swaps and stuff. But I want to finish this. Let's so, and I've got some cleaning. I'm, try I'm trying really hard to get my craft room decluttered. Um, so, yeah, I've got a lot going on. But I just kind of really want to finish this. So, right now I'm using the Ranger Distress Oxide in Frayed Burlap. And I'm going to use this stencil here. And see if we like it. This is one of my favorite stencils. I really like the look it gives me. Uh, and I have to clean up my bathroom from where I bathed her. Oh my goodness, it's such a mess. And my tub's going to have to be scrubbed like no other because, I mean, she was in gross, gross shape. Is being as good as gold. Anyway, um, so yeah, I forgot what the heck I was talking about, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I wonder if we want to do this. Um, maybe, maybe we want to put this here. Or here, right here. What do you think? Of course, then it's right beside. I don't want it right beside the same. Hmm. Could put it here. Could cut it down to this size and put it here. Actually, I think it's about the same size. It just needs to be rounded and stuff. Might be a little wide. Um, What's up? Anyway. So, 
that's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. What do y'all think? Yeah, maybe. Let's go ahead and ink it up. We will inky dinky it. Inky dinky, tinky winky. My dog thinks I've lost my mind. She's like, Mom, really? What's up, Jimmy? Oh, yes, I love you too. Y'all need to go lay down. I really love that pattern on there, um, and now that I've stenciled on it, it fits perfectly in with the rest of it. It doesn't look out of place at all. So now what I want to do is to make this part look more like it belongs. And so I'm going to start with... I think... Um... Where is it? Right here. And I'm going to grab my red ink and we're going to stencil some red flowers on there and some butterflies. All right. Thinking I might wind up giving this to my mom. Um, because I think she would really love it. So. scrub that bathroom because I can smell I mean the smell from when she came in it was so horrendous guys I mean like I'm not even kidding she stunk so bad it was it was just really bad really really bad
kind of like that. It's very, a lot to it is the only thing, I mean, like a lot. Got hair all over me. My hair is falling out. Anyway, my point to that whole thing about the smell <laughs> oh no was that um the bathroom where i bathed her is like right outside my door and so um right outside my art studio craft room door and so the smell is like wafting in here gotta go clean that okay cool i'm liking this and then I've got these butterflies, and we can do some butterflies, which I brought in the purple wilted violet and put on a few purple butterflies. So that will be pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. May stop. Mama's making a video and that noise is really irritating. My dog is sitting here chewing her foot. Okay. Liking that. I wonder if I should add a few blue butterflies. What do y'all think? Oh, no. Now I'm just going over this with Vintage Photo. Just going to give it a little bit of grunginess. Actually, I think I'm going to do it differently. I think I'm just going to bring the vintage photo to it. And just do this. I'm loving that, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Be right back. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this third part of this video where we're making a port, or I'm sorry, a folio from uh, junk 
mail envelopes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me a picture. I'd love to see it. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.